I'm going to get the Instagram up and going and then I'm going to explain to you guys what I've cooked up for today's show. I'm actually really excited for this one. I feel like I say that every show. I'm actually really excited, but honestly, I do get really excited for each and every show, so I'm not lying. Let me get Instagram going though. Instagram is up and running, so hello and happy Tuesday to our Instagram friends. I'm gonna be live for the next two hours. Unfortunately, I will not be able to see your presence or your comments over on Instagram as the live is actually happening right now on our website. So do please head on over to www.luxurypromise.com. That's where I'm live. That's how you're gonna be able to chat, shop, and interact. And I hope to see you guys momentarily. RB, how are you? Happy Tuesday. I have to apologize, you guys. I am still really sick but i'm getting through it i just had a nightmare trying to schedule a doctor's appointment though they told me the closest appointment they could get me in for it wasn't until june i was like hello what so part two i'm gonna try to do that later <laughs> but i'm trying but it's okay we're gonna get through it that's why i tell myself we are strong we are capable we got this that goes for all of us you guys but welcome on in first show for me of the week here in new york city new theme that i'm trying out today so you know in one corner of the ring we got classics and neutrals squaring up on the other corner of the ring we got bold and colors okay so it's a showdown i'm gonna alternate between between the two themes but i have half neutral classic options and half bold special bright and colorful pieces so it should be a lot of fun definitely something for everybody in this show and also happy Eid to those of you who do celebrate um I'm wishing you guys a lot of happiness time with family um and on top of that you guys Isabel I don't know if you know that was just announced a little bit ago by Sophie in the community chat but there is a coupon code to take advantage of today it works on everything except for Hermes items I believe the code is Eid50 EID50 and with that code you will be getting 50 pounds off of your order which is incredible that's more than shipping even is so depending how you look at it it's basically free shipping plus a little extra off your order so EID50 is your code use it don't lose it it's only active today I believe so definitely run and take advantage of that Aqua how are you happy Tuesday I appreciate you my friend I am hopefully getting there. <laughs> Lauren, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Um, all right, so I'm going to go over our opening spiel of a deal, and then we are going to get right down into it. Also, you guys, I don't know those of you who are in America as I am. I don't know if you guys got to see the eclipse yesterday. I am really afraid of eclipses <laughs> and the energy of them, so... I stayed home, but I did go up to my roof to peek at it a little bit, even though I didn't want to, but my fiance talked me into it, and it was actually really, really cool to see. So I hope if you're able to see the eclipse that you got to see it and you got to enjoy that. That was just one of those special human moments where everyone just kind of stops with what they're doing and is present in the moment. So it was really cute. I got to meet like all my neighbors. I never meet my neighbors, but everyone was on the roof. So super, super cute. All right, let's go over our opening spiel of a deal and then let's get into these bags today. So first and foremost, anything that is purchased during the live show today will promptly be shipping out of New York City tomorrow. We accept all major forms of payment here at Luxury Promise. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to lose my voice during the show. I apologize, you guys. So credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, and PayPal are all good to go, but pro tip that Apple Pay is the quickest way to be able to check out. And last but not least, your shipping. So if you are a USA or Canada, North America in general, if you're on the same continent as me, shipping is cheaper for you guys during my shows always. So if you are a North American based customer, shipping will be 15 pounds as you are considered domestic with me. Anyone outside of North America, my international friends, shipping for you guys will be 35 pounds. However, of course, we do cover your customs and your duties if you purchase during the live show. And on top of that, you have the code EAD50 to take 50 pounds off. So the way I look at it, shipping's free plus a little extra today. So 
I'm gonna give you guys a preview. Okay, I, as I mentioned, on one corner, we have classic neutrals. They're kind of mixing, kind of mingling in the middle. And then over here, we have our bold options. So I wanna know in the chat, you guys, all of you who are with me today, what do you consider yourselves when it comes to your handbags? Are you more of a classic neutral, subtle kind of girly? Or do you tend to go for more bold, colorful options? So team bold or team classics, sound off in the chat. I wanna know what y'all's vibes is, but I figured why not do both and see what kind of is the winner with our community. So it should be a fun one today. I'm going to jump into it. RB is team neutral. In honor of that, I think I'll kick it off with a neutral. You guys know me. You know I tend to like to kick off my shows with early bird specials, but there is one neutral Kelly that I have today where I can, one, not believe the price. Two, it's like so many people's dream bags. This is one of the most requested Kelly sizes, materials, and colors that I get. And three, what you're getting versus what you're paying is not adding up in a good way any of the 50 pounds off so i'm gonna kick it off with a kelly we're gonna switch it up today let's kick it off with a kelly this is so gorgeous i mean calling all my box calf lovers my navy girlies how stunning so isabel this first SKU is asl 10311 wait until you see the price ASL 10311. Thank you, Bon Bon. I'm getting there. Luckily, I'm over the sore throat, which to me is always the worst part, but I'm definitely, she's definitely still going through it. But as long as I don't have a sore throat, I feel like I can pretty much soldier on the sore throats, though they knock me out. So I'm happy that's over with. Okay, so this gorgeous piece, as you can see, I'm going to put this down, but it is coming with its original Hermes dust bag, you guys. I believe, I think, gosh let me check the size on this i it's been so long since i've had like box kelly's in my presence that i'm tripping myself up here so let me just pull it okay this is a 28 i was gonna say 28 circa 1994 that is a x circle stamp navy box calf with gold hardware you guys i mean the 28 is so easy to carry i love all shapes and sizes of kelly's and birkins really i don't have a preference but i do find that this is on the lighter side and more suitable for like not travel but for daily vibes outfit picks during the daytime a really sweet size but also it is small enough and still kind of elegant enough to be appropriate for formal dinners events stuff of that nature versus if you showed up to a dinner with a kelly 40 you're kind of giving I just came from the office or you're a boss lady and I still I still love you I'm still gonna be like wow but the 28 to me is just a little bit more evening appropriate so I'm gonna give you guys a 360 this is actually in a really impressive condition level especially considering that it considering that it is from 1998 I mean the gold hardware on this I don't notice any hairline scratches maybe like super super micro hairline scratches but it's 1998 and it is looking so killer here is your top handle as well. I mean, this box calf, look at the price, you guys. If this doesn't sell today, again, use the code EAD50 for 50 pounds off. But if this doesn't go today, I will be a little bit shocked because this is a Stelio of a dealio. So here's the back of your beautiful, shiny, scratch-free box leather. It looks like a couple of really minor little dents into the leather here. But again, you can massage that out. I'm not concerned about that. She is vintage look at the bottom it completely dent free this leather also feels very hydrated to me it doesn't feel like it's getting dry it doesn't feel stiff it doesn't feel like it's gonna crack anytime soon which i know can be a concern with box leather looking at the corners i know lord <laughs> looking at the corners there's one itty bitty mark right here and that's literally like the size of a grain of salt so one itty bitty mark here this corner has no marks again guys this is 1998 like hello this third corner also looks really great maybe a tiny tiny bit of rub but still to the eye looks fantastic and then your fourth corner also looks untouched so just two out of the four corners have a little itty bitty bitty bit of wear one corner has the most but it's a little mark the size of a grain of salt crazy coco i don't have any fine jewelry today but i will have a whole fine jewelry show this saturday all right so let's dive inside because the exterior is giving 
I mean, you know, it's hard for me to grade Hermes bags, but if she's from 1998 and looks as good, this is getting like an A, 8.5 out of 10 for me so far, dare I say. So let me dive inside for you guys. The hardware does not feel loose at all. Nice and sturdy and on there. So let's delicately open her. Of course, Coco. Here is a look at your inner Hermes stamp Coco as well. You can always feel free to email me if you have specific fine jewelry requests, pieces you'd like to see, shoot me an email so I can curate for you. And exactly, so this piece is coming with its clochette, its lock is included. Lock looks great too, tarnish free. And its strap, it's honestly priced as if it was coming just as is, no dust bag, no accessories. But that is simply not the case, okay? You're getting her original bits and pieces, just missing the box and raincoat, of course. But look at this interior too, you guys. This is fantastic. You have two inner pockets, of course, your back zip pocket. There's no smell. There's, well, I might not say there's no smell because I am stuffed up, so I wouldn't know. But I have held this bag before, so I do know that there is no smell to this one. One tiny noticeable dent mark. The rest of the base of the bag looks fantastic. Again, she's from 1998. Just gonna peek into our back zip pocket real quick. Look at that, literally not a single mark. This is such a good opportunity for somebody. It's priced cheaper than some Chanel bags I show even. This is like a very, very wise investment in the world of Kelly's. Can't go wrong with box and absolutely cannot go wrong with Navy. And I agree with Bon Bon all the way. Um, still would have been a great price at 10,000 pounds, but I kept it as low as possible. So here she is with the strap on. Here is how it looks as a little shoulder bag. It looks so good. I like to keep Kelly's open. That's just my style though. And this size you could get away with like a French girl cross. Most people don't wear their Kelly's crossbody because it is high and this does kind of hit you at a weird point, <laughs> but it is doable. I do just want to demonstrate it is doable thank you rb i try that's always a, like in my career of live hosting i always find that just really going over each little bit in detail is what i've mastered and what i feel is most important so overall all things considered to grade this on a vintage scale i think this is absolutely worth 8.5 out of 10 condition level like truly honestly I don't know how she's here. I want to price. I want to pass the savings to you guys. I could have priced this higher. It would have sold eventually at a higher price point easily. But the savings are here for you. Don't forget to use code EED50 as well. But this Kelly 28 Navy Box Leather circa 1998 is up and available for 8,715 pounds. That is 11,038 US dollars. Reminder, you still can use Split It as well. With Split It, you're looking at literally less than 100 US dollars a month if you finance it that way. This is a crazy one. I'm hopeful that she may find a home today. So if anyone's thinking about it, if anyone has any questions about it, I am here to help. No question is annoying. No question seems too extra. That's literally what I'm here for. So ask away. But I mean, honestly, this could be considered an early bird special at this price point what you're getting is insane so that's where I figured that I would start us off at today I'll keep it moving but since it's bolds or since it's classics versus bolds I feel like naturally I have to follow it with its competitor so facing off head to head against this classic Kelly we are going to do oh let's show Shrita, um, gosh, I don't have any pulled today. There is one that I have on hand, but it's not yet quite ready. It needs images. I will bring it on Saturday if that's okay. But also let me know what your ideal Van Cleef bracelet is so I can keep an eye out for you. Okay, so let's face off. We're gonna bring out a Birkin. If that was a little too neutral for you, that was a little snooze fest. If you're a bold, colorful girly, this is your choice of today's show. Let me get the skew for Isabel real quick. Alrighty, so this is going to be 9022. 
6087-9022-6087. I have a Birkin 30 from the Candy Collection. This is in the exterior color of Rose Tyrion, and inside you have Ruby. This is done in Epsom leather. Oh, um, stamp on this with palladium hardware, you guys. So, again, just for a size reference, I like to leave Birkins open too, but oh, 30 is my favorite. I love a 25. They are cute, but for practicality and for my body frame, I'm five foot, five foot six for reference. I find that a 30 is always my favorite. Oh, Isa, that's so sweet. <laughs> Shrita, okay, noted. I don't think I have any Onyx. Um, the one I just got in is a, it's either rose gold or yellow gold, Gioche, and it's a sweet version, but I'll keep an eye out for Onyx for you. Oh my god, Isa, that is so, that's a, honestly, great minds think alike because I also would opt for this color as my first Birkin, <laughs> a thousand percent. So here's what she looks like on you guys. Again, another technically vintage piece beautiful beautiful epsom leather accent white um stitching which you get from the candy collection i'm gonna give you guys a 360 on this bad boy it is absolutely stunning wow 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 all right so hardware on this again some minor hairline scratches to your hardware but very very minor i would say especially for its age you actually still have the plastic protector on this portion of the hardware I'll show you guys your top handles which are nice and clean not stretched out no color transfer happening there let's take a look at corners so this first corner looks really good no scuffing detected second corner same situation which we love third corner Wow, okay, I'm just looking, no corner wear on this. All corners look nice, clean, scuff free. You actually still have remnants of the plastic protectors to the base of the bag on the feet. Here is what that bottom looks like. So again, exterior condition, definitely I would grade this within the eight range out of 10. So let me unstuff her and open her up. Another fantastic price when you know what you are getting all the way. For a candy Birkin, you guys, this is fantastic. So you do get the felt protector with this. Oops, I forgot to put this back with the Kelly. Don't want to lose that. Okay, felt protector is included. I'm just gonna fully unstuff her. So it looks like we have a goodie bag inside and within this goodie bag, you have the original dust bag, key, clochette, lock, mini dust bag, and the raincoat. So all that's missing is your box, but all other original components are coming with this Birkin. And then again, she's a Verso, she's a candy. So you get Ruby to the interior. <laughs> bon Bon, I keep it mean for good reason. I do it for you guys. I like when I'm grading stuff to you guys, I feel like I'm talking to you as a friend, not as a customer where it's like, would I tell my homegirls one, that this is a good deal, two, that it's worth it, granted it's condition level and all those factors. Like, I just try to keep it real, you know? I'm keeping it real out here for y'all. So this one, again, is some expected minor dents to the bottom, but still an overall really clean interior. Front pocket looks nice and clean. Let me just check on this back zippy pocket. And amazing. So also... Probably, let's see, to keep it 100 with you guys, that Kelly, I'm going to stick it at an 8.5 out of 10. This one, probably more of like an 8, a solid 8 out of 10 condition level on this Birkin. But of course, this is a super sought after, super collectible piece in the world of Hermes from the candy collection, an OG it girl bag, if you will. So our Birkin 30 in... Um, from the candy collection in Rose Tyrion is available for 11,830 pounds. And that is roughly 14,985 US dollars. So that is her. Okay, let's swing it on back to our neutrals. Let me just stuff this back up nice and safe again. Of course, let me know if there's any questions or requests so far, you guys, I'm here to help. 
over here. Alrighty, let's do, what do I want to battle now? <laughs> let's do, gosh, there's so many good bags. Okay, I'm gonna bring out a really stinking cute YSL neutral bag for you guys. This one kind of won me over. Again, I, oh, this is so cute. Hello, suede and fringe, what more could you want? probably want a good price well you got it with this <laughs> guys i'm in a silly goofy mood today okay i think this theme just really brought out the theatrics within me <laughs> so our next cue is going to be 137349 137349 this is our saint laurent beige suede matte last chevron fringe medium college bag coming with dust bag hair booklet and its removable strap so i really love the college bag from ysl because you're getting the same vibe as like the lulu which is super popular but i think it's an elevated version of the lulu personally you get a lot more functionality from it because it does have a top handle of course it still has a long strap for crossbody wear but the long strap on this version is removable the lulu is not the lulu is like a pull through two-way bag this one you can wear it as a true just singular top handle or as a crossbody it literally is a oh, so cute so here's how she looks like on honestly vibe matches my outfit perfectly again i'm five foot six for height reference so my hips are about right here so nice long cross on this but look at the way the tassels move as you carry this it's just a whole whole vibe for elevating your outfits so this bag is paired with brushed gold hardware from YSL. Exterior is truly, truly, absolutely pristine. I don't think this was technically used before. So you get the fringe coming down all along the top V flap on this bad boy. It is just stunning. I love this color of the suede too. And also different from the Lulu bag on the college bag, you do get a open concept back pocket here. So you can remove the strap, keep that in mind let's dive inside and i'll show you what's cooking in here so there's still plastic on the interior hardware but you can see you get that puffy chevron stitching into the suede on this exterior there's still it's protective plastic on the zipper ysl papers all still packaged up unopened inside of here and of course the dust bag so it's a really nice low maintenance kind of vibe with this bad boy because inside you just have all black canvas material for your lining absolutely no stains this again is absolutely giving pristine back zip pocket over here with another back pocket so in the very back you have one leather card holder type of pocket then you have this middle zip situation as well so good for staying organized on the smaller side respectively but you can still fit any size phone in here you can still get a day's worth of necessary things to have on you inside of this bag so this one's giving like literally 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level i don't think it's technically actually been used before so i'll close her back up and get the price up it's already up look at the price if you guys are unfamiliar with ysl retail pricing to me it's a little crazy at this point i say that about a lot of brands but ysl specifically has really upped their ante with prices even though the bags have relatively stayed the same throughout the years so really mini in peach it's not a mini i think it's either a small or a medium but i'm happy to show that next week okay so let's get the purchase bag from ysl fantastic price this is 1575 pounds that is 2008 us dollars again remember you can use code eid eid 50 to get 50 pounds off at that point you are getting a like new ysl bag for less than 2000 us dollars which is absolutely bonkers to me so let me know if there's any questions mel i think it's set to end tonight but i'm not 100 percent sure i just found out about the code right before the show so i don't know the full details on when it ends um but we can definitely check on that for you all right so we had a neutral we gotta face off with a bold bright bag up next we had some interest in this cutie over here so let's go there 
All right, so up next, we are going to look at 134010. 134010. This is our Chanel Orange Quilted Lambskin Medium. It's a medium. Medium classic double flap coming with a box care booklet and felt protector. I love the shade of orange. It's not like a true pastel, but it's also not a bright, bright, vivid orange either. To me, it's kind of giving like a creamsicle tone. So think of a creamsicle. That's the shade of orange we're getting here. It is soft, but it's not entirely muted. So thank you, Isa, circa 2021 on this. I feel like I'm wearing an outfit today where all of these bags are just matching perfectly. That was not intended, but here we are. Um, I love the medium. Fits a lot more, but still looks small. Still looks really cute as a shoulder bag. And orange and silver hardware is so, so beautiful together. I think it's kind of a slept on combo, but it's a combo that I like to push because it keeps it feeling a little bit more current and elevated in my opinion. I don't have any minis today. I have a ton here. The smallest Chanel bag I have, not technically in the classics range, but I do have the Lego brick wallet on chain, if you will. Um, but I don't have any minis today, D, but I have a ton of minis in stock and other wallet on chain options here in New York City, just not in this show. So definitely shoot me an email, give me your wish list, and I can send over options that I have that match what you are looking for. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a condition breakdown on this. The lambskin is super, super puffy throughout and is free of any color transfer to this exterior. Here's a look at the bottom of the bag. I'm just looking at the corners with my eyes. All right, looks like a little bit of corner wear. This corner looks the least worn out of the four. This one also looks minimal signs of wear, like very small little mark right there. This corner has the most of it, so there is a little bit of some sort of stain happening here, but definitely you could take to a spa to get that worked out. And this last corner, a little bit of a mark, but nothing too crazy. But again, this is a limited color from 2021. Sounds good, Dee. I'll keep an eye out and I'll get back to you tomorrow. So let's dive inside of her. So again, it is a double flap, so here's how it looks underneath the first flap. And then your second flap. It's all monochromatic, same tone of orange. And then your main interior. Here's how she is looking. Nice and clean inside. And this is, again, a series 31. And then here is your front pocket. So totally bon one. I would give this one an eight out of 10 condition level. Again, it is collectible for the color, and we all know the Chanel price increases are never, ever ending. So all things considered, 8 out of 10 condition on this coming with its box and dust bag and care booklet. She is up and available for £7,155, and that is roughly $9,065 US dollars. Okay, well, let's go back to our neutrals. are oh did i disconnect for a second there <coughs> let me know if you guys can still see and hear me okay my phone said i disconnected but i don't think i really did okay anyways <laughs> this is caviar leather it's not like a true true gold you see chanel bags sometimes that are gold metallic that are yellow gold very noticeably gold this one's giving more champagne vibes so it is classified as gold but definitely more in the champagne gold tone i would say cool thank you bonbon bon. so you get a little leather zip pull on this it's paired with silver hardware so you have your silver cc to the front exterior condition looks amazing 
really, really nice. So let's dive inside. Nice smooth zip. And this little guy has three separate card pockets to the interior. Matching color and more of a neutral. And this is a series 21. So again, a limited color from a hot minute ago. Series 21 on this. Coming with its dust bag, definitely another confident 9 out of 10 condition level piece. I don't get these little guys in often. I don't know about other regions, but I feel like there's been a severe lack of Chanel small leather goods like this recently. I'm not seeing them as much as I did say like last year because I think everyone's buying them up. So this little guy is up and available for 735 pounds and that is 931 US dollars. So because that was just a little SLG, I would love to follow it with one more neutral option before we go back to our bolts. Okay. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. Oh, there's so many good neutrals behind me. I want to do this Gucci toe because this is real nice, you guys. So kind of similar to a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but Gucci-fied, if you will. Let me get this skew to Isa. All right. This is going to be 138671. 138671. Gucci Black Matte Last Leather GG Medium Tote coming with dust bag, care booklet, and retail tag. So again, kind of a hint that this is going to be absolutely killer condition. So I'd say it's similar. It's akin to like a never full MM, not the GM, but right in the middle, good everyday work, life, mom, school tote, whatever it is, when you need a bigger bag, this could be a great option for you. So this is a smooth black leather with the interlocking GG print actually sewn into the leather, which I really enjoy. You have shiny gold hardware on this and a all black exterior it honestly looks like a pillow on camera this is a really nice condition level so you have smooth leather in black to the bottom here and you can see an extra strip of smooth leather has been sewn atop the edges and corners just for some extra reinforcement there and i'm just looking at it with my eyes because the light on my ring light is reflecting and making it look like corner wear but there is not corner wear on this that was just my light so excellent exterior condition for sure on this let me show you the interior definitely would fit pretty much any size laptop gucci dust bag included and this is real nice so for closure you do have this little magnetic leather strip at the top there to semi secure the bag the interior is classic Gucci canvas, completely clean. This looks like new. You have one interior leather pocket over here, and then your other zippy pocket over here with all of your original Gucci papers, Gucci retail tag, all those good things. And you guys, on the retail tag, this piece retails for 2,750 US dollars. Again, by the time you pay tax, you're looking closer to 3000 all said and done so some great savings again use the code eid50 eid50 for 50 pounds off that also will bring this bag to under 2000 us dollars with that code so another incredible deal so she is up pre discount code for 1585 pounds and that is roughly 2009 us dollars so let me know if there's any questions Another good neutral option, this time a tote. So let's bring out a bold tote to square off against her. <laughs> I'm so happy I finally got my hands on this piece. <gasps> so good for upcoming spring, summer. All right, so our next bag is 123238. 123238. Louis Vuitton limited edition, now discontinued, um, blue monogram Giant Hamptons on the go tote coming with its dust bag. 
even though I've never been to the Hamptons, I personally romanticize it so much. I want to go eventually for like a weekend trip, but oh my gosh, all my friends go all the time. And this is definitely giving Hamptons. Even though I haven't been there, she's giving Hamptons. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Isa. So I don't know why it wouldn't pull the image for this one. Um, so we'll take it offline after the show. So this will only avail be available during the show until I rectify the image situation on this. All right. So front of this bag is in a really pretty baby blue with a rich, true blue behind it. But you have this cute little, actually this is smooth leather stitched on here. So kind of like a patch. This is Louis Vuitton, 1854 Hamptons. And you have this nautical travel vibe going on. I love that it's framed with the mini monogram in black and white. The back of the toe is going to be your cobalt blue with the white monogram so you can wear this either way and kind of get two oh, i love it this way but two different vibes out of one bag and another thing that's unique about this one compared to most on the go totes is this is meant to be for the hamptons so think beach think by the pool we have actually like a see-through pvc it's frosted but it is translucent on the side of the bag which i think is wicked cool so you get that to both sides. And of course, what's an on-the-go without the inner shoulder straps? So you do have longer straps to be able to comfortably wear on the shoulder and tote her around. Isn't this cool, Lauren? It does not pop up often, I can tell you that. First time I've had it or seen anyone with it. So it comes with its dust bag and then the interior of her is going to be baby blue canvas two pockets to this side, inner LV logo, a little clasp if you want to keep her a bit more closed. There's still seals on the zipper. And then it looks like it comes with its original little care booklet and papers in here as well. So overall, I would also give this a confident nine out of 10 condition level. Really cool, absolutely collectible when it comes to Louis Vuitton. Stuff like this retains its desire on the market, holds its value, and goes up every year. So this piece is up and available for £3,550, and that is $4,499 US dollars. Okay, so let's bring out another neutral option up next. Let's see, on the topic of a beach bag, if that was too much blue for you, but you are ready for your pool vacations, your beach vacations, I do have an option from St. Laurent with you with a hidden little goodie inside of it. So up next, we're gonna look at 135401, 135401. It's our St. Laurent Rive Gauche black and white. It's more of a gray tone. So I would call it black and gray, but to each their own. Black and white terry cloth beach towel tote coming with its dust bag for myself. So it is super stuffed up right now, but again, it's going to be a little bit more slouchy in nature. This is stupid soft in a good way. <laughs> it is so plush and comfortable and just like almost cozy, but it is like a towel material. So you have the Rive Gauche Saint Laurent motif to the front here, black gold hardware with little leather stitching. All of the hardware does say Saint Laurent on it. You get this cute little leather tag here too. Isn't this cutie? So you can see what I mean. I think this is more of like a light gray tone just because the fiber is mixed in with the black. They call it white. I'm calling it a soft, soft gray. So you get the same motif to the back of the tote, more white, but I really love this slouchy casual vibe that you're getting exteriors in excellent condition, but you guessed it. <laughs> it is coming with its matching towel. It's so funny. I was watching Grace's show before this show while I was working. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, MG, the bag turns into the towel, you guys. Wait, what? What on earth? This is so cool. Okay, so it does come with its dust bag, but it's funny that I was saying that this felt like a pillow because when you turn this bag <laughs> inside out, it turns into a towel. I have way too short of arms 
to be able to show this to you guys. This is so cool. Hi, Roxana. Thank you. Yes, I really tried. I tried to make it fun and exciting and different tonight, but yeah, your bag turns into a towel just like that. That is insane. What the heck? <laughs> so then you have a doubled up portion to the top so you could put your head up here. It's a little bit more soft. God, this would be so comfortable for the pool. All right, so I'm going to try to put her back the way she was. Let's get that towel back inside. I love this. Such a cool piece for your trips, you guys. All right. And just like that, she's back, baby. Okay, I'm in love with this. This is like a silly, I don't want to call it silly, but it's a silly luxury that I didn't know that I needed until this exact moment. Like, you'll never forget to bring your towel because this is your towel, okay? <laughs> so, this piece is up and available for 1,155 pounds. That is 1,465 US dollars. Again, use code EAD50 for 50 pounds off. That is her. That was so fun. Okay. <laughs> You know it's good when even I get surprised. <laughs> Alright, what do I want to get my little hands on next? Let's do the Chanel. Uh, what do I want to do? No, I want to do this YSL. Okay. I feel like when I get YSL in, I typically get it in neutral colors. So I always get a little bit more excited when a colorful option comes in. Much less in my current favorite accessory color so you can tell by my earrings and my shoes <laughs> we have this really cute ysl little cherry red situation let me get the skew for isa <coughs> oh, excuse me guys okay so this is gonna be 137350 137350 on this this is our Saint Laurent red quilted lambskin small Lulu puffer bag coming with its dust bag and its care booklets. Guys, I'm so serious. Is anyone thinking about the Kelly? What can I do? If anyone's thinking about it, if there's anything I can do, shout it out and let me know because I'm honestly shocked that she's still here. If you're just joining me, look in the handbag icon below. Peek at the price on this and hear me when I say circa 1998. 8.5 out of 10 condition like really a killer opportunity for a vintage kelly 28 in box okay but let's talk about her so this is so cutie i would wear this absolutely all the time i love the drop on it as a shoulder bag and i really love this kind of more unique shape compared to most bags in the lulu range from ysl so you can pull this through and convert it to be a crossbody as well so when you do that again i'm five foot six Here's how it looks for height reference. Okay, I feel like this is a perfect sized everyday bag too. So super puffy and shiny lambskin leather on this paired with kind of like a gunmetal silver hardware. Excellent exterior condition for sure. SS, it was 8,000 something rather pounds. We can get that price back up for you momentarily, but it was a steal of a deal. I think it was like 10,000 US dollars within there. All right, here is the bottom. So a couple very minor little scuffs. Again, my ring light does accentuate scuffs on leather because, of course, it's a shiny, bright light source right against the bags. So in person, it's really not noticeable. Just looking at the corners. All right, corners look great on this. So opening her up. Thank you, Isa. Yes, so the Kelly was 8,715 pounds. My bad. 11,038 US dollars. But again, we have the code EAD50. So if you use that code with checkout, it takes 50 pounds off. So technically, I was right where it's going to bring it within the 10,000 US dollar price range, which is crazy for that bag. Okay, so here is how this bag opens up kind of like an envelope. And you actually have a lot of depth to the interior, even if it doesn't look like it dust bag is included then you have a all black open concept canvas interior with one inner zip pocket and your two inner logos right there of course ss let me know if you have any questions about it so this bag definitely again like a nine out of ten condition level 
and she is up and available for 2,115 pounds. And in US dollars, that is 2,680 US dollars. So that was her. We're gonna swing it back to our neutrals next. Of course, let me know if there's any requests at any given moment, you guys, I am here to help. Let's do, all right, if you like the idea of a St. Laurent tote, but you don't necessarily need a towel <laughs> inside of it, I have another piece that could be good for you. A little bit more simple and more appropriate for everyday wear. So this piece is 127893, 127893. This is our St. Laurent black leather small Reeve Gauche tote coming with its dust bag. I love a Reeve Gauche tote. I think they're just so good for everything. I feel like no matter what your lifestyle is, having a tote like this is an absolute essential. And I love this version in the all black leather. We see them a lot in canvas and fabric, whatever it is. But this is a nice, soft, lightweight but really beautiful, shiny black leather. So this bag, of course, it's super stuffed up right now, but it does comfortably fit on the shoulder. Easy to have on your shoulder when you're out and about. You get the Reeve Gauche Saint Laurent motif, which is actually in like three dimensional. It's raised atop of the leather to the front here. And three little Saint Laurent branded buttons that actually do function and snap to keep the bag closed at the top. The back is just all black smooth leather. It looks like one, I feel like that will come right off. I don't want to call this a mark because you can see it's just kind of coming off. So do not fret, <laughs> but there is a little bit of crinkling to the bag, but that is just because of this material choice. It's a softer leather, it's not structured, so that is inevitable, and the nature of the design. So the bottom of the bag, again, is just all black leather. Let me unstuff her. <coughs> all right, so your interior is going to be a mix of black canvas. <laughs> bon bon. Yeah, tell me your guys' opinions throughout the whole show since it is a battle between two different styles. I want to know. I want to get to know your guys' taste better. So inside you have the leather to the bottom. The sides are canvas. Looks like oh, that's just a little fluffy. Cool. All right, so no stains going on and you have one inner zip pouch as well. So for sure if it's any laptop, now that it's empty, I'll show you on the shoulder. You could comfortably have your arm down. No issue. I have not, Sarah. I can show it next. And yes, Cherry, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> All right. So this Saint Laurent um, Reeve Gauche tote, more suitable for everyday use compared to the towel one, is up and available for such a good price. Again, you guys, look at YSL retail pricing. Get back to me. I always have really good deals on YSL. So this is 1,250 pounds, and that is 1,000. 585 US dollars. Again, use code E50, you guys. I'm waiting for the first person to use that code so we can celebrate you and so you can get an even better deal on top of a deal, which we love. So, I'm gonna put this back. We'll do the pochette Matisse up next. Let me just quickly blow my nose. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Okay, Pochette Matisse time. This is probably the best priced Pochette Matisse I've had in. The last few I had in were definitely selling at a premium. They were still below retail, but I was like, wow. But that is because of the popularity and the demand for this bag. But this one's a really great deal. Just throwing it out there. So, where is my skew? Isabella, oh, just kidding. This is 136486, 136486. Our Louis Vuitton um, monogram pochette Matisse coming with its dust bag and removable strap. So a really nice, kind of more modern classic from Louis Vuitton, I would say. The pochette Matisse has a very 
kind of I don't know how to describe it I don't want to call it academia but it is kind of giving me like chic academia vibes if you will you know Lazzy, yes. So if you're a first time buyer, that does pop up and it is, or Isabel, if you can confirm, I know the ID for sure for verification, um, but I don't believe that was from my show. So it won't be of much help, but Isabel can definitely get back to you on that. All right, so I'm gonna keep talking this through. Isabel, if you wouldn't mind helping out Lazzy in the comments. I love that name while we are going. But this is Monogram Gold Hardware Vachetta Leather Little Pops of Accents on the top ha um, handle. So I will say the leather has aged. It is a little bit more of a honey tone, but um, it has aged evenly. So you get the Louis Vuitton logo embossed right here. You can take off the long strap and just carry this as a top handle, which I think looks really chic. I'm a sucker for a top handle, as you guys may know. <laughs> but the body of the bag is full on monogram canvas. Your front hardware has a little LV right here. Louis Vuitton Paris down below. And then here is a 360. This also has a little zip compartment to the back. And this is lined with brown suede. There we go. Ah, there we go. So there's your answer, Lazzy. Yeah, just a security measure that pops up sometimes. Um, so the strap is removable. And I love this because most Louis Vuitton bags you get a Vachetta leather strap or a chain strap, but sometimes you get lucky to get, um, Didi, yes, I did show it, so I'll do a quick recap on it right after this for you. Um, but you do have adjustability here, so you can do it up shorter, and this will allow you to wear the bag as a crossbody. So, tall girl friendly, this is as long as it goes. Again, I'm five foot six, so my hips are, like, right here, but you can adjust it up to roughly here for more of, like, the French girl cross look really popular really beloved bag from louis vuitton so let me take her off and i'll show you guys the interior so to open you just pinch these two metal bits it'll pop open like so you have more monogram for your inner top flap and then this is actually sectioned i love that you have the chocolate brown interior seals are still on the inner hardware so you have this open concept right here nice and clean then a second pocket nice and clean as well with your back inner pocket and this piece is confirmed made in france oh wait i lied one more pocket so if you're an organized queen this is definitely for you this piece feels lightly pre-loved but still looks great overall with no um functionality issues or damage to report just lightly pre-loved so i'd probably give this like an 8.9 out of 10 condition level this was requested by the lovely Sarah L. So Sarah L, let me know if there's any questions, anything I can help with with this one. I would definitely support going for it. I think the price is really good and you have that discount today that you can use. So this is up and available for £1,775. That is £2,249 USD. And don't forget to check out with code EID, e -I -D 50 for £50 off. And my pleasure, Sarah. Thank you for your request. All right. So we had a request for a quick recap for our on the go GM Hamptons edition. So this is a limited edition, no longer in production, highly collectible, really cool version of the on the go. So the front has monogram Giant with baby blue and cobalt with a smooth leather sewn on Hamptons patch, if you will, accented by the black and white mini monogram trim. The sides of this are a PVC material, kind of playing up that beach slash pool Hamptons theme, if you will. And the back of the bag is just going to be full on cobalt. Jody, no worries. It, Eid, today is Eid for those who celebrate. So it's E-I-D 50 for 50 pounds off. Okay. And then the bottom of the bag, the two colors meet. It has the long straps as well. Isn't this one really pretty? super collectible too so that's how it looks on the shoulder perfect for your vacations of course jody comes with its dust bag and then you have a beautiful sky blue canvas interior which is clean and pristine inside zippers still on or zipper still on <laughs> plastic is still on the zipper to the interior so really good one Dee. Dee. so 
if the pin should be in the handbag icon. I did already go through that one fully, but let me know if there's any other questions. And don't forget to use a code if you do want to go for it. All right. And that is her. <laughs> so where should we go next, you guys? That is the hot question of right now. Let's do... Oh, gosh, I'm so torn. Okay. Let's do another pop of color. Let's do this backpack. I think this is a great deal for what you are getting. Oh, it has no image with it, Didi. I'm so sorry. I forgot. So that one, <laughs> for some reason, it has pictures, but they didn't load when I was making the show today. So it's the one without the picture, but it is there. You will be able to check out on it. But of course, because it doesn't have any pictures, ask all the questions you need. If you need to see anything slower, more close up, let me know. I'm here for you. But yeah, hope that helps. Okay, look at this little Duma backpack, you guys. Again, in my current favorite accessory color. Oh my goodness. So this is going to be a one, two, one, night eight, one. This is such a good price on this Chanel backpack. You guys are not ready. So it's our red lambskin small urban spirit backpack. I called it the Duma. My bad. Bad habit. <laughs> I just call every Chanel leather backpack a Duma out of bad habit, but it's the small urban spirit backpack coming with its dust bag. It's in a really sweet, almost like cool toned cherry color, I would say. So compared to my shoes, it's pretty similar. And these are like a true cherry red, but this is done in puffy, shiny, beautiful lambskin paired with silver hardware, a really cool sleek pairing you have the mademoiselle style pocket to the back here you can carry it around as just a little top handle really convenient little chain strap to have but of course it does function as a backpack so you have adjustable little backpack straps on this i know right is a this one is so good all right so and the condition is really killer too you can adjust it i would adjust it a little higher personally so that it just sits flat on my back like so but if you like a more droopy look by all means but if you like a little bit more of a higher up look you can get all of it so i'm gonna give you guys a slow 360 but i'm really impressed with the condition of this leather shiny and puffy throughout no doubt <laughs> and then even the bottom is killer so i'm just looking around the piping I don't see any signs of wear to this exterior, so let's dive inside. Functioning turn lock. Give this little opens up. You still have your seals to the inner hardware plate, and then it does have an additional drawstring functionality to kind of change the shape of the bag if you want to. It's been left untied just to keep its original shape. Um, show you guys the interior which is all a lighter tone of red canvas you have um zip pocket open concept pocket and then your little serial code to the bottom this is a series 22 i'm super impressed with the condition on this especially for it being a series 22 so i'm gonna stuff her back up let me know if there are any questions on this <clears throat> All right, and with that being said, she's up and available for 2,935 pounds, which is 3,721 US dollars. Again, circa 2016 to 2017. Use code EAD50 for 50 pounds off. Really cutie patootie little backpack. But you could actually fit a lot in here. I feel like you could get a standard size iPad Definitely not laptop, but iPad, yes. <laughs> bon body, I want a shirt that says that. <laughs> All right, let's swing it back over to our neutrals. Let's do another Chanel on this price. If you thought that price was good, this one makes no sense. I will talk you guys through it. But when I saw the price on this, honey, I was too stunned to speak too stunned to speak so i have a white really cute kind of hobo style tote from chanel 
The SKU on this is 137949, 137949, and this is actually um, calfskin leather. It is the Ultimate Stitch Hobo Bag, white calfskin leather, silver hardware, meant to be a lighter weight, slouchier hobo style bag from Chanel. You can leave it open as I have it right now, but it also does have a magnetic button snap, so you can just snap her closed switch the orientation of the bag and kind of just let her flop over have a subtle cc to the top here or you could put the chain inside easily and also just wear her as like a large slouchy a la mary kate and ashley olsen <laughs> vibed pouch so it has a silver chain that pops out it's more of like an off-white i would say it's not a true snow white it has a little bit of a warmer undertone to it so let's call her off-white calfskin leather with the wild stitch style exaggerated stitching to it silver cc hardware it's a unstructured style tote so it is meant to be a little bit floppy and loose in nature but the white, or off-white, I should say, calfskin looks nice and clean for this whole exterior. The bottom has five feet to protect it, which is really good, especially when you have a lighter color bag. But calfskin will hold up. Compared to white lambskin, I'd be a bit more cautious with white lambskin. But the calfskin does hold up a little bit better. Just overall, the only spot I'm seeing any discoloration is right here. And yeah, this price is nuts for what you are getting. So let me show you the interior again, just unbutton it to dive inside. Definitely would fit a laptop. This is actually a very spacious style tote. So you have two pockets over here. It's kind of a beige tone for your lining. This is a series 19, 18 or 19, I'm trying to see. Come on, eyeballs. <laughs> this is a, oh my gosh. 18 there we go confirmed 18 series thanks for all the love hearts you guys comes with the little clippy for your wallet or your keys to be safe inside and then you also have a zip pocket in here as well so overall more of like a 7.9 out of 10 condition level overall just to keep it fair definitely on the pre-loved side but still absolutely gorgeous fully functional and just a good casual tote to have on hand for an excellent price point let me stuff her back up real quick. Alrighty. So, she's up and available. And once you have her stuffed up too, this Chanel CC is far more likely to stand up as it is now. But this is a steal of a deal, you guys. 1,740 pounds. That is 2,195 US dollars. Again, I'm gonna say it every time. I really wanna drill it in your heads, you guys. Today is the only day. Use code EID50, E-I-D-50 for 50 pounds off everything except for Hermes. Okay, <laughs> so that is her. <laughs> Let's follow it up with some color. I have to bring out my favorite Dior bag that I have that I cannot fathom. How it's still here, it does not make any sense to me. So up next is gonna be 134533. 134533. This is our Christian Dior multicolor beaded tassel micro saddle bag coming with box, dust bag, gift ribbon, and care booklet. I just think this is the cutest thing ever, maybe because I showed it in the past during winter, we weren't ready for some colors yet, but I just still can't believe that she is still here. This is a fully intricately beaded with two rows of beaded tassels to the front, one row of beaded tassels to the back where the pattern perfectly matches up. I mean, the craftsmanship on this genuinely next level not exaggerating to get that to line up and be tassels is crazy it's kind of breaking my brain a little bit i love this again i cannot understand why it's still here it was a limited release you cannot buy this in boutiques i don't know if they have any beaded lady dior options on the website currently i haven't seen one as of late much less in the micro so it's paired with brush gold hardware 
shiny smooth black leather condition is killer on this i looked this over earlier and there's not a single bead missing all the beads are fully where they are intended to be the side of the bag however is not beaded it's just the stitching that you will see which i appreciate i think i would have been a little bit more scared to have beads on the bottom and side of the bag so i appreciate that they left that part unbeaded but the pattern does match up i could not agree more bon bon but i feel like this colorway reads even though i put her on the bold side for obvious reasons i feel like it still can read as a neutral from far away but it's also going to pull out the colors of whatever you are wearing the price is killer on this you guys so it does have a little baby open concept pocket to the back here so let's dive inside i am obsessed with this so upon opening again it's the micro so you can get like a phone in here and some makeup just some little bits and pieces you can go inside but you have a smooth black leather top flap then a black suede black interior on this micro little saddle a thousand million percent bomb on this is a true collector's piece it will go up in value as we i would consider this piece even though it is a little bit more current but you guys see that the premium that john galliano era dior saddlebags fetch nowadays decade over a decade later they've held their value they have gone up in value it's a really safe investment to make and i would say the same hi kel happy tuesday how are you I would say the same for these more intricately hand done pieces by Dior, okay? Because this is true artisanship that you are getting and the beading. It's just so out of this world beautiful. I love the tassels. So definitely like a 9.5 out of 10 condition level on this. Coming as it's set, box, dust bag, um, care booklet, gift ribbon, tissue paper, all the bits and pieces. She is up and available for 3,885 pounds. And that is four thousand nine hundred and twenty-five U.S. dollars. And again, use code EID fifty EID fifty for fifty pounds off anything except for Hermes for the rest of the day, you guys. All right, we'll keep it moving, keep it grooving. Let's go back. I forget who it was, but real quick, on my last show, one of you guys asked me if I had a Louis Vuitton scarf. I didn't have it in that show, but I told you I would bring it next week it is now next week so i brought it one second i feel like i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> oh my goodness oh, it's not coming out oh. y'all if you are healthy right now if you do not have a sickness i want you to take a moment of gratitude for that i wish i was you <laughs> your girl is over it over it Okay, so in case that was you, I brought the scarf back to take a peek at real quick, but now you can get it for cheaper because we have the code. So up next is 138326, 138326. Gina, I will do that one next for you, absolutely. Um, this is our Louis Vuitton Cappuccino Wool and Silk Blend Monogram Shine Shawl. So it's more of a shawl than a scarf um rush jewelry will be all on saturday every saturday i do full on jewelry shows today is just all bags minus the scarf <laughs> um so this is coming with but let me know if you guys want a week time jewelry show if so i'll do a weekday jewelry show next tuesday if you guys want we could do two jewelry shows in a week why not <laughs> so this is coming with box dust bag gift ribbon and retail tag thank you harvey I love this. I was shocked it didn't initially sell, so it has to go today now that you can get 50 pounds off. But it's a really pretty, really soft, shiny blend of materials on this. Um, Joan, yes, I have a couple. They're not technically in today's show, but I have them on hand. So I'll flash the options. I was gonna, I have some more that I'm bringing on Thursday that are not here with me, but I'll flash the ones I have with me momentarily i had a request for this first and then i'll show you the scarves that i have and if one of them tickles your fancy we can get it up for you okay so here is this big old lv 
shiny, really nice neutral color shawl. Again, it's a blend of wool and silk, which is resulting in one, it's softness, but two, this sheen effect that you get. It is really pretty. It's quite large. You do have tassels to the edge. Um, it's pristine. It still has its retail tag on it. It has not been used. Here is that little LV tag and then your LV tag on the scarf. <laughs> so coming as it's full set all the way down to box ribbon, all those bits and pieces. Pristine condition. I could not agree more, Kelly. You can use it as a skirt wrap when you're at the beach. You can convert it to be a top. You can use it as home decor. You can frame it. Like your options are truly limitless. I like having them as a little lightweight blanket on flights. Um, which one is this small? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, Rush. Just remind me, okay? I got a little cue going, so don't feel bad if you need to remind me. But this little shawl, just in case, had to bring it since someone did ask last week, is up and available for 485 pounds, which is 615 US dollars. But today you can get it for less than 500 or less than 600 US dollars with code EAD50. So I'm gonna put her back. And then our next request was this, and then the scarves, and then the little red Chanel. I got you guys. Okay, so moving on to a vintage, classic, super, super collectible and rare piece. Look at the CC on the bottom. Is this Barbie era? I have a gut feeling this is actually Barbie era. Okay, let me get the skew before I get too far ahead of myself. Up. Okay, so right, Kel, I think it is. I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> this is 130524. 130524. This is our Chanel Vintage 24K Black Patent CC Vanity Case. It is just coming as is, but I think I do have an extra Chanel dust bag on hand that I can include for whatever Chanel bag sells first that doesn't have a dust bag. I'll include it but she is vintage patent leather, 24K gold hardware, top handle, cutie patootie vanity case. You can use this as a bag by all means. I find that the top handle is actually comfortable to have on the arm like so, but you can also use this kind of more as like home decor in your dressing room, on your vanity, keep some cosmetics inside, do what you wanna do, but this is definitely a super, collectible and rare piece when it comes to chanel that's out on the market so you do have the blown up cc 3d sticking out on the um bottom patent base of the bag it has the old school style zip i'm thinking this is a very early series we will confirm momentarily the black patent leather looks really great throughout even on the handle exterior condition wise the only thing i would call out is there is a little there is some tarnish, so the CC is still 24K gold, but there is a little bit of the under metal poping, poping, <laughs> it's not the pope, poking through, is what I was trying to say. So just some signs of wear to the CC here, unfortunately, but still by all means a super collectible piece. So you can undo your turn lock, but then you have the additional zipper that you need to pry on open. This is a four series four series you guys so i think that is barbie era so inside is just all black lambskin there is going to be some scuffs again a vintage collectible piece we're keeping that mindset you guys but this is made in france you have your serial code to the interior and i feel like you could actually fit a heck of a lot in here definitely for me i'd probably put my perfume collection inside of something like this and just make my life a little bit more luxe by having this on my table <coughs> if i'm traveling i can just grab them all and go so vintage condition level i would give it like a 7.5 out of 10 but again these hold their value no matter the condition i feel like i could have still asked more because there is a market and a hot demand for pieces like this 
So the one I have today is up and available for $2,715 or pounds, sorry. And that is 3,443 US dollars. Use code E50 for 50 pounds off. And Gina, my pleasure, lovely. All right, for was it, I feel like it was Debbie who was requesting this scarf. Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't. Um. oh Joan sorry okay Joan up next if you're with me I'm gonna hold up the scarf options I have I won't fully talk them through unless one catches your eye I believe they're all the same size um so shout it out I'll do like option one option two option three if any of them are of interest to you let me know and we can get it pinned so option one just so happens to be my favorite. I believe these are all 90 by 90 centimeters. Let me check that. Um, or is it 43? I'm not sure. <laughs> but they are the square shapes, so, oh my God, excuse me. Option number one. This is option number one for Joan. Just gonna flash them real quick. They're all pristine condition level. So that is option one. Option two also is a second runner up favorite of mine. I love this colorway. Really good for spring. It's like a twisted take on the Brides de Gala motif. So this is option number two. pinks and blues, option two. And then one more option, but I will have some more tomorrow. But these ones are all pristine, unused. So option number three is more for my neutral girlies. This is just a navy and beige tone. It's actually the same pattern as the first one, but with only two colors. So this is option number three. All right, so Joan or anyone else, if anyone is interested in these scarves, shout out option one, two, or three, and I can get them up for you. And you can take 50 pounds off. That, honestly, today's a good day to buy scarves. Oh wait, I keep saying that, sorry. It excludes Hermes. I always forget that, it excludes Hermes. Option one, okay, Joan, absolutely, my love. Maybe, Isabel, if a scarf does check out because the code doesn't work, just to be fair, in the spirit of giving, could we refund shipping on Hermes items? We'll refund shipping on Hermes items because you can't use the code. That's fair. That's the next best thing. Okay. <laughs> so for Isabel, the SKU is UKL1324. UKL1324. This has rouge, vert, and a whole lot of other colors. It's a main. And Mimi wants two. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. I'll do number two right after as well. <clears throat> All right, I have pulled two pulled aside for you, Mimi. So they're all pristine. This one was my favorite of the bunch. I love this colorway. It has retail tag is still on, confirmed unused. Pink trim. These are all silk. No worries. Yes, RB, what kind? I have a lot of Gucci. I don't have any Fendi today. I showed this Gucci tote, but I also have a Dionysus. I have the little Ophidia dome bag down there. I have the classic black Ophidia dome over here. So I have four options. All right, so here's another look at this. It has the more a jouette script at the top here. And then at the bottom, mixed into these kind of buckle bridal motifs is where your Hermes Paris is. I love in the middle, you get black and white. It just, it's so colorful and playful, but also will just match just about anything. So this one is up for 315 pounds. That's 399 US dollars. And I will make sure that your shipping gets refunded on that one. I'm going quick because they are just pristine. Um, and the size should be in the description to confirm for you. So option number two is UKL1326. UKL1326. Option number two for Mimi. It was our Brides de Gala, but with a twist kind of almost psychedelic take on the Brides de Gala motif. So it's like a periwinkle light blue 
background, the Bright Sick Ella, but with this trippy effect, almost 3D effect, especially towards the bottom where it does say Bright Sick Ella. Um, pristine condition as well, retail tag still on. And yeah, that's option number two. I do not have boxes with these, unfortunately. Um, no, the only spare Hermes box I have is literally huge. So no boxes included with the scarves, unfortunately. Okay, so same price for this one. Um, 315 pounds, 399 US dollars. And we will refund shipping on Hermes items from my show today. Okay, so those are your scarves, you guys. I believe the next request was for our little Lego slash brick mini wallet on chain. So let's go there next. This is another highly, highly sought after collectible piece from Chanel. I know personally a couple clients of mine within my last few years in the industry are hardcore collectors of these because there are different colorways, different vibes, but they don't pop up quite as often. So that is just something to keep in mind. So, this little guy, the skew, is going to be 121292. 121292 has a jingle to it. It's our red quilted patent leather and plexi boy break flap bag. Just coming with its authenticity card, but again, I have one extra Chanel dust bag. First come, first serve, depending on what gets checked out today. So, it is a more condensed shape of a wallet on chain not quite a square but getting closer to being a square um it's in a really cool colorway where you have oranges and a darker almost red orange and then like a true deeper cool toned red so you have this plexi to the front hence the name the brick bag collectors and chanel enthusiasts alike often refer to these as the lego bags because it kind of gives off that vibe um, but the back of the bag and the whole sides and everything is a bright, vivid orange patent leather. Your top there, the sides are lambskin in orange as well. And then it does come with a crossbody strap. I'm noticing just a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little bit of a color transfer mark right over here but it has been priced accordingly so just right to the back here a little bit of color transfer and a little bit of corner rub as well but where it matters to me at least the front the plexi is scratch free there's no issues going on to the front plexi so i'll show it on as a crossbody looks a little something like so again five foot six for reference hips are here so it is nice long tall girl friendly approved show you the interior up next so it is a single button snap there is another mark unfortunately but these pieces are still super collectible so i did still throw it in but one little mark here to the interior um orange leather all throughout and interestingly on this piece you can remove the strap so you could add your own or just use it as like a little clutch or bag organizer, which a normal wallet on chain, you cannot do that. Um, but the main interior is just going to be open concept space with one interior card shaped pocket. So this one would get more of like a 7.9 out of 10 condition level, all things considered, but it is still super collectible coming with its authenticity card as well. Actually, yeah, let me look. I didn't note the series number, so let's take a look. I'm gonna pop off my shoes. I'm gonna lose an inch in doing so, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, it's a 19 series. So it is up and available for 2,045 pounds, which is 2,593 US dollars. But with the code EAD50, you take 50 pounds off, you're talking a collectible little wall on chain from Chanel for less than 2,000 pounds, which is pretty darn good. So that is her. Let me know if there's any other requests, you guys. We're gonna keep moving and grooving, but we do have, oh my gosh, how is it almost 4.30 already? I feel like I haven't shown anything. <laughs> the show's getting closer to being over. Okay, let's do Gucci, because that was requested. Was that RB who requested that? Yes, okay, RB, I'm gonna show some Gucci options for you. Okay. 
so starting with like the most classic option i have out of all of my gucci today this is 137123 137123 it is our gucci black calfskin leather web small ophidia dome bag coming with its dust bag super timeless classic option from gucci it is the more current modified version so they brought back a classic style made it this cool little dome shape so it is more current but it has a timeless classic gucci aesthetic and structure to it so the black portions of the bag again as you can see are all black leather in an excellent condition level it's paired with shiny gold hardware so you get two zippers both with the interlocking gg super shiny in a shiny gg right here the signature house strip in canvas in red and green carries on the front of the bag as well as the back the strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. So you can see there's a lot of adjustability on this bad boy. So it is intended to be more of a crossbody style. Really classic, elegant, can't go wrong. You could dress her up, dress her down, but she is timeless and you can always reach for a bag like this. It has a structured base, so it's almost giving kind of Alma vibes, but not quite. Um, but the base is solid, pristine condition level there show you guys the interior the zippers feel new always when they kind of give you a little bit of oof, that's when you know a zipper is like new so dust bag is included then it has a all suede interior two pockets to one side one inner pocket there <coughs> but nice and clean throughout and the price is great on this too so our first Gucci option for RB, if you're still with me, let me know and I can show you another one straight after this. But this is for 1,155 pounds and that is 1,400 and roughly 65 US dollars. All right. So what other Gucci do I have? I love this Dionysus and the price is silly compared to retail if you guys know you know this is going to be a very silly price point so let me get this skew this is actually like raffia woven super cool i've never had a raffia dionysus bag before no worries yeah of course rb what are you after let me know what you're after what kind of gucci bag i also have this i have this which i'm about to show and then I also have the more current little orange, and this has a long strap as well, bamboo. But let me know what kind of Gucci bag you're after. Okay. So up next, sticking with Gucci for a minute, is 136212. 136212. And it is our natural red straw azalea calfskin leather. GG Monogram Small Dionysus Bag coming with its dust bag and its care booklet. I know, is a it's so good. All right, so I love a Dionysus. I'm all for them. And as far as, I feel like some of them are super colorful, super out there and kind of, I don't want to say they feel dated, but they do feel tied to the era which they were released, which was kind of like between 2016 to 2018. Some of the Dionysus bags to me are permanently tied to that era. However, I think this one is refined. It's a little bit more mature and it is giving classic. I think this is a timeless option from the Dionysus range. So I had to bring her today. So gorgeous. Again, perfectly matches my sweater. Crazy price on this. So you are getting a really beautiful deep red leather trim, gunmetal hardware with of course the iconic tiger head making up that Dionysus hardware. It is a structured bag, but all of the straw on this is pristine and it has the red thread done into it, making up your interlocking GG pattern. Pristine exterior condition. <coughs> One second, guys, coughing bit. <coughs> oh my lord. Okay. Okay, forgive that my eyes are watering now. <laughs> but 
this size of the Dionysus, when you pull the strap through, I find it's more for shoulder length, not quite a crossbody, not to say that it's impossible to wear as a crossbody, but the larger Dionysus is intended to be a drop shoulder or shoulder bag option. A pouch clutch, but isn't small. Try, okay, RB, can you send me an email? Because I do have some options in stock here that match what you're looking for for really good prices. I'm doing a deals show on Thursday, and I think I have pieces I can include in the deals show that match what you're looking for. So just remind me via email. Um, come back, my show will be at the same time on Thursday, and I can bring you some pieces that better match what you're looking for, for sure. All right, let me show you guys the interior here. So opens up. Let me unstuff it. clean and pristine so you do have a little front pocket here still has its original tissue paper inside so I don't think anyone actually ever used this and this one's special too instead of having fabric you have all leather interior so it's just a little bit more of an elevated bag from Gucci two main compartments you can see all the original Gucci papers are inside and then you have a middle zip which is fabric lined so this is getting like a nine point 9.8 out of 10 condition level for me, really. Nothing major condition wise to note. <coughs> Sounds good, RB. Yeah, totally happy to help you on your home. We'll make it happen. I know we can. By Thursday, we are making it happen, RB. <laughs> okay, just close her back up. So, this Dionysus, it's a great price. Something like this, by the time you paid for it retail, Closer to 3,000 US dollars easily. So this is up and available for 1,875 pounds. That is 2,378 US dollars. So I'm gonna take a quick intermission break. I'm gonna take you guys off of the ring light and talk you through all the pieces on the shelf. And I want you guys to shout out any requests you would like me to talk through. Um, I feel my voice starting to give out on me, so I want to take precaution while I am still here. So, I have this crazy gold python LV twist two-way bag craziness. Again, don't forget Little Miss Candy over here, our beaded Lady Dior. Um, I have a really pretty... Dragon Fruit Epi Alma BB with a special two-way canvas strap. I have a blue, bright blue Dior East West bag coming as it's set. We talked through both of these Chanel babies. I also have, we showed her the red YSL. I also have a red Vernie Louis Vuitton Alma. Some more colorful options. I am obsessed with this piece. I also have a pinkish purple YSL two-way bag for a great price. I have this more vintage satin YSL two-way bag, but I also can't believe it's still here. Another piece I can't believe is still here is this metallic red um, Chanel reissue for a crazy price point. It is so beautiful. Our YSL college in suede with tassels, the pochette motifs, the Gucci Dionysus, our little lego chanel baby um our pristine gucci black toe up here we had our vintage chanel vanity the reeve gauche leather ysl tote i'm honestly shook to my core that no one has picked this up even with free shipping you guys i can't believe it do i need to offer a voucher if someone goes for this is anyone even thinking about this because i'm stunned that it's still here we had our Chanel wallet. I have some um, crazy Hermes clutch situations. We got this Kelly cut hiding in here. I have a Gigi in um, Swift leather and also a Mimosa suede. We had the LV shawl. Yes, Sophia, absolutely. I'll show that one next. The Gucci dome, the Chanel white calfskin tote the saint laurent towel bag literally a towel i have a beige chanel caviar boy bag with ruthenium hardware eden absolutely and i have this pristine retail tag still on really nice neutral ysl so our request first i'm gonna do this for sophia 
and then Eden. This is a deal of a lifetime. So that's what we'll do next. Oh my god, the sneeze is still haunting me. It wants to come out so bad, but it won't. <laughs> okay, let me attempt to sneeze one more time, you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Hang it in there. I'm gonna sanitize my hands real quick. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Okay, so we're gonna do the Chanel bag up next. And if you're just joining, if you haven't heard news around the block, there is a code today. Chair, I think I have a, I think I have a sinus infection. I took um, Zyrtec today. Some friends in the office were like, "Oh, I have allergies. I take this, and it helps. Don't worry." And I took it, and I was like, "I'm still not thriving." So, I think at this point, it's a sinus infection but the doctor said it wasn't, but that was two weeks ago, so I might have to go back. Okay, so we're going to do this crazy reissue up next. This is going to be 115075, 115075. It's our metallic burgundy quilted calfskin reissue 2.55-227 double flat bag from Chanel. Just coming as is, but has been priced accordingly. I think this is the most stunning reissue ever. Like, ever? <laughs> if I'm allowed to say. It's my favorite I've ever seen. It is. It has my whole heart. Yes, of course, Rebecca. I'll add that to the queue. So we're going to do this. A recap on the Kelly, and then I'll do the Gucci orange. I got you. All right, so here is a look at her. Again, it's calf skin, so it is way more durable than lamb skin, but it still has this gorgeous metallic effect to it. To me, it looks like when you're at the opera or the ballet, just the theater in general, it's giving red velvet curtain-esque. It is stunning, of course, Rebecca. So this is actually on the more vintage side. It's from 2008 to 2009, paired with gold hardware. Give you a 360 because this is in killer condition and the price is so good on this piece you guys here's a look at the bottom like there is no dull marks corners have a little bit of rub but i find that the color and the metallic nature of this bag actually kind of hides that so if you're really looking you'll notice it but from afar it blends in pretty seamlessly to the bag like you're not really gonna notice that <laughs> and that's what's resulting in it being a lower price point so you have the reissue style gold link chains price is so good on this here's how it looks on the shoulder and this piece you can wear crossbody as well again height reference on five six that's how she looks show you the interior Boop. all right so upon opening, this is a double flap, but it is fully still metallic underneath this first flap. And then underneath the second is where you get your classic non-metallic burgundy leather with the CC stitch right there. All right. So interior is clean and gorgeous and issue free and again this is from 2008 to 2009 here's a look at your front pocket which is going to be fully metallic as well this to me deserves like an 8.99 out of 10 condition level it's just kind of normal excessive minor rub to the corners is really my only call out on this but for its age that is pretty darn good it is beyond gorgeous it's such a nice evening or event bag to wear but also this was just like a white t-shirt jeans and sneakers would be a whole vibe too so and it's lighter in weight compared to like a caviar large double flap or anything like that this is going to be lighter in weight so it's very comfortable to carry um it is up and available for 3775 pounds that is 4787 us dollars again use code eed 50 for 50 pounds off and let me know if there's any other questions on this one 
and thank you for your request. This is definitely a top choice for me of the show today. Honestly, in New York period ever, this is a top choice for me, and I cannot wrap my head around why it is still here. It does not make sense to me, so that is her. <laughs> Next request was a recap on our gorgeous Kelly, which is a ridiculous price point. If you do go for the Kelly, I will um, make sure shipping is refunded. Also, Isabel, don't kill me, but if someone goes for the Birkin or the Kelly today, I will also issue you a 500 pound voucher as a thank you. Sounds good, Sophia. I'm here for you if you need any help. Um, but yeah, if anyone goes for this Kelly, I'll issue a 500 pound voucher. Isla, don't yell at me. Don't tattle on me. But this is a Kelly 28. It is in box leather in navy gold hardware. And this is from 1998. 1998, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Isla. <Isabel. laughs> um, this was requested by, who was that? Um... Why am I missing? Okay, I'm missing comments over here. Let me look on here. Eden, for the love of Eden. Sorry, I missed your comment. All right, so I gave this an excellent vintage condition level. To be fair, it's like an 8.5 out of 10. But to me, visually, it's looking like a 9 out of 10, and it's from 1998. Like, this is one of the nicest box Kellys I have had in. Only thing to the back was a couple of very minor, tiny dents. Those can be massaged out easily, I would say, for sure, undoubtedly. But also, that's the beauty of box leather. If you know, you know, but the base has no dents. It is so nice and clean. And the corners, there was just one corner. Not this one. This one's fine. This one looks fine. It has a very micro amount of rub. Hi, Irod. How are you? Happy Tuesday, but still excellent condition, I would say. Third corner. Oh, it's this one. There's like one tiny mark. This is the most major thing to the exterior is this tiny, like, this little salt grain size little mark that's made the leather a little lighter from afar. You do not notice at all. So that's what the exterior is giving. The top handle is pristine. Ira, did you get to see the eclipse yesterday? It was so cool. All right, and then your hardware on this too. Again, we're keeping in mind, this is from 1998. Hairline scratching, absolutely minimal. Like there's no definitive scratch that catches my eye on this hardware. And exactly, Isabel, it does not need the spa at the moment. I would give it five years, honestly, before I would take it to the spa. So really special and the price point is even more special. So hardware is great and it's not loose at all. The plate is solidly on there. And there is your inner Hermes stamp. It comes with dust bag, key clochette, and your long shoulder strap as well. So it's not just a bag, you are getting strap and all those little bits and pieces included. And the interior has no smells, no stains, no marks, just a very minor baby little amount of dents which is totally expected especially on a bag from 1998 so by all means this is killer condition selling this would make my month because this is the type of Hermes bag where I personally deep down in my soul <laughs> I feel like I'm getting so philosophical philosophical but I feel like this is a bag where I truly like feel amazing selling it to somebody I have no hesitations about it I could have priced it at 10,000 pounds and I still would have felt good selling it. So I'm telling you, this is a really rare, really great deal on a super sought after color. Not only color, I mean, navy box is like really popular, <laughs> very in demand. But also in a 28, it's just so, so good. It was priced roughly around 8,000 something pounds and just like $10 over 11,000 US dollars. Um, but again, if you do purchase this, I will make sure your shipping gets refunded so you aren't paying for shipping and I will issue you a 500 pound voucher. I really wanna sell this. This bag really does deserve its moment to shine. It deserves to be in someone's home. It deserves to be loved and I'm just sad that it's stuck here with me, you guys. I honestly just really want this bag to have its time to shine and to be loved because I know that any of you guys would love this. 
So it's just a matter of who wants to bite. So let me know if there's any other questions that was requested by Eden, but it's still up. Anyone can grab it. Vintage box Kelly 28 in navy from 1998. Really special bag. All right. So our other request was for the orange Gucci. And then after this orange Gucci, I will be calling final recap request to you guys. Today flew by. I don't think I got through everything. Not even close that's okay i over selected i did my best i feel like if i wasn't sick i could have gotten through everything but we're we're laying low we're going low and slow we're taking care of ourselves <laughs> okay so our final request one of my favorite 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 bags of the day isabel i think you already have this cue from what i can see oh my god my voice okay <clears throat> come on voice we're almost there oh no all right excuse oh my god Excuse the raspiness, you guys. It just fully went out on me. Okay. So last but not least before recaps is 136787. Um, this is our Gucci orange textured dollar calfskin mini Diana dome tote coming with its additional strap, dust bag, and the removable strap. I know is a... Oh, I thought I was doing so good too, but now it's really hitting me right now. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of my favorite, more current pieces from Gucci. However, it's not truly current because it is paying homage to the brand's history and it's, I don't wanna say 100 years, but I think at this point it could be 100 years that Gucci has been using bamboo in their handbags. So traditionally, back in the day, in early, early, early vintage Gucci days, I'm talking people's grandma's eras of Gucci, <laughs> before it's widespread success um artisans when they are making bamboo handles because if you don't know gucci bags with bamboo handles it is real bamboo it's not artificial it's not just there for the vibes it is real bamboo which takes a very niche and very talented type of person type of woodworker to be able to get the shape and get this finished correctly. Bamboo is a very porous, delicate wood, but when treated and crafted correctly, it will last a lifetime. So in order to hold the shape, traditionally artisans of Gucci would put a strip around the bamboo handles when they're in production and when they're not in use, they would advise clients to do the same because bamboo is porous and because it's a softer wood. There is the risk if you're carrying heavy stuff inside with a lot of years of use that the bamboo will start to flatten out because it is a natural fiber, it's a natural material. So traditionally they use the bands to hold the bamboo for that purpose. Again, I used to be a wood shop nerd. I've handmade guitars in my life. I love wood shop. So stuff like this is right up my nerdy material knowledge alley of things. Um, so in more recent years, oh my God, <clears throat> In more recent years, um, Gucci is paying homage to the brand's history, but also still giving you the function of protecting the bamboo with an accent leather strip, which actually is adjustable. So kind of the same concept of having braces or a retainer um, as you wear it, it might need to be adjusted tighter to hold the shape. So you are able to use these strips for their function of protecting the shape of the bamboo, but you also can take them off and they also are there as part of a design detail on this more current version of the bag. So that's my little history lesson on bamboo. And a lot of people, when this was released, they're like, oh my God, that's so ugly. That's so weird. Why did they just put that on the handle? And I'm like, no, there's a reason it's calculated. <laughs> so this bag is in a beautiful, true citrusy orange color um shiny yellow gold hardware you have a little baby bamboo for your zip pull which i think is the cutest thing ever this is truly pristine and unused you have five little baby feet to the bottom and absolutely no signs of wear to this exterior so you can just rock her as a little baby top handle situation um but you also do get a long crossbody strap which i will throw on momentarily inside of the bag you can still fit an iphone inside she's tiny but mighty as i like to say so you have this orange suede interior of course sharita my pleasure and a orange little pocket here um so let's add the strap on there are two little hardware d-rings hiding behind the straps that make it easy to add this strap on 
and it is adjustable. I forget if I mentioned or not. Okay, almost there. There we go. So, on as a crossbody, you have a lot of adjustability to work with. Throw her on, you can have the straps hold themselves up and would look a little something like that, but you also could adjust to make it higher, just whatever suits your style. So this is our last bag. I'm calling final recaps now, final chances to check out so I can celebrate you. Use code EAD50, you guys. It's only valid for today, I'm trying to push that. And I will only be honoring the voucher and the free shipping on the Hermes items if you do purchase before 5 p.m. So you have less than 10 minutes. Not to invoke fear, but just because I gotta stay on top of lots of things. So I wanna be able to honor that while it's still top of mind. Um, me too, RB. This is a really good one, and it's a great price compared to retail. Retail, these were going for a pretty, pretty penny, you guys. This relaunch of these bamboo top handle bags was kind of crazy to me, even though I love them. So the one I have is available for 1,775 1, pounds, and that is 2,250 us dollars so i'm now before i completely lose my voice calling final recaps let me know any last minute questions helps comments concerns anything i can do before i end the show i'm gonna put the strap back inside um all these items will still be available on the website if you guys are thinking about them you can always email me i'm gonna ask isa just to get my email up one last time and I will be answering your guys's. Oops, I forgot to put that. Where did this guy come in? Um, I'll answer all the emails tomorrow morning once I am back in the office. I'm going to tidy up, get out of here, and go home, eat some soup, and crash. <laughs> That's my agenda. I hope you guys enjoyed this theme. Let me know what you thought of it. I know it was kind of out there, but at least I had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> so I hope you did too. Um, real quick a little overview of what the rest of the week looks like for me so tomorrow no show from new york city thank you isa but um i will be moderating Kristen from 3 to 5 p.m so come hang out i'll see you guys during that show thursday i am back with another show from new york city at the same time slot of 3 to 5 p.m and that's going to be my best deal show so pretty much i think off the top of my head almost everything should be under a thousand pounds on thursday show i haven't done a deal show in a while so if you're after some deals if you want something new but you don't want to pay over a thousand pounds for it join me on thursday that will be your day and then as per usual i will be live from my apartment with all things branded jewelry for you guys on saturday from 1 to 3 pm so that's what the rest of the week is looking like for me Isabel, thank you so much for being here to help moderate. I always extra appreciate it when you're here, you know? So thank you guys. I'm going to rest up. Hopefully by Thursday, I can get through show feeling good. I'm really crossing my fingers. I'm trying. I've been drinking mad smoothies. I've been taking so much vitamin C. I'm doing all the things. <laughs> um, Shrita, yes. Let me take a screenshot of that so I can try to remember for you. But it'll have to be i won't show it unless you're there so remind me once you're there on thursday just because it is technically a deal show i don't think vca qualifies for that theme but i'll bring them thank you aqua all right i appreciate the heck out of you guys email me with any questions you may have i'm here for you and i'll see you guys during kristen's show tomorrow all right have a great rest of your week thank you isabel thank you everybody 